None of these have names. They probably have a code. No, I don't know, but yeah, you can have it now. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Grab a beer, let's have some laughs, cause it's time for Crafts and Crafts. We are here at Lawless Brewing Company in North Hollywood, California, with our guest today, Seamus Dever. Seamus is well known for Many things, such as uh, Castle, uh, where he played Detective Kevin Ryan. Television audiences might be familiar for him as that, or with him as that. Uh, he played Trigon uh, in the, the main bad guy in season one of HBO's Titans. Mm -hmm. um, he uh, played John Seed in Far Cry Five, mm -hmm. uh, the, one of the one of the big bad guy villains. Mm -hmm. uh, currently appearing in Waco on Paramount Plus. So basically, season two of Waco, in yes. a way. Yes. The original season was like 2018. Yes, many years ago, uh, pre-pandemic, and the I think it was a, a a launch release of Paramount Plus. It was so ballsy to kill off a lot of the cast. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no. And then boom, season two. I was like, what? I like, didn't want to get killed like Fred off. Fred Koresh, maybe he comes back, man. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Maybe he didn't die. Who's Fred David Koresh. Koresh. David oh. <laughs> Koresh. David Koresh. Wow. Maybe David Koresh didn't die in that fire. After well, all. I say wow because of this. He did. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. He died in the fire. I went to watch you uh -huh. in. in, in Preparation for this. Did you? Uh, in the Waco, the Waco one, but I was like, oh, let me watch the previous one first. And I haven't made it through the previous one oh, okay. to get to it. I know the story. Yes. And there's a really good documentary that came out recently. Not as yeah. good as the. Well, it's dealing with the, a different thing. Um, my stuff is in the all the Timothy McVeigh stuff. Right. So the kind of the ripples of the pond yes. after Waco, what happened there, and and um, how the everything that happened in Waco inspired um, the Oklahoma City bombing. Right. So all the Timothy McVeigh stuff, and I play a character, spoiler alert. Um, the who, German. Who's, I play a German named Andy, um, Andreas Strassmeier, who is the man who taught um, Timothy McVeigh how to make a bomb, how to make the bomb, mm -hmm. in a, a little cult city called Elohim City uh, in near Tulsa in Oklahoma. So yeah, so my part is that. So a lot of the main uh, storyline with, with the new one, it deals with the trial mm -hmm. of all the people who did survive right. the fire. Um, but mine is the kind of the ripples in the pond stuff that was happening with Timmy McVay and Terry Nichols and teaching them how to make the bomb. When you were on my previous podcast, yes, we were talking about it. But yes, you, but you couldn't even give me as your friend information. I can't. On it. Yeah, NDAs, man. Even off the. They scare that's me. Impressive. NDAs really they scare are, me. They are. You have to like, and, and then they're like, sort of like, can I send this picture of me in the trailer? This is me in my outfit. Yeah. You know, and you're like, okay, well, I if didn't. there's one piece of information, I never take any pictures on set anymore because I'm just and scared then, of it. Last time you were on, you also had done a video game, yeah. or, or about to do a bit of video game, something like that. I'm working on a video game still. The same one? Yeah, it's going to be like another year and a half we're working on this thing. So, yeah. How many days have you worked on it? Um, for the last six months, probably about a week. Okay. So it's spread out. They, yeah. they write it, we do it, they write it, we do it, they write it, we Are do it. Are you just the voice? No, I'm everything. Your Performance uh, capture, motion performance capture. Performance capture, okay, got it. Did some last week, yeah. Are you in um, a suit? I'm in a suit, yeah. The do you full have the facial stuff. thing too? Facial, but here's the new thing. They don't need you to put dots on your face. Oh. So all that weird dot thing oh, that people right. see, yeah. they, technology has advanced so much since the last time I did it that they just get the contours. They can tell the difference between yeah. the highlight and the shadow. They don't need dots anymore. Isn't that cool? And I don't know why yeah. that's cool. No, 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 it's, it's, it's just it, kind of It's cool. amazing, but what's even more Same amazing time. is the fact that you're doing all these cool things and you feel uh, like you can't even document it yourself. I know. You can't get the final anything. product and you're like, this was it. I took a few pictures. I'll, oh, show, you you, I'll show you them privately. Um, <laughs> I'll make you sign an NDA. Oh. You're like, I can't believe I have to do this. Cheers, what are we doing? Cheers, we are drinking uh, the... This is like a Hefeweizen? Yes. Yes, the Hefeweizen. A nice summery Hefeweizen. We were about to introduce the craft. Oh, what are we this, doing today? So for each guest... I'm purposely not looking over there. This has very little to do with it. Okay. It has more to do with this. I'm not looking even over there. You can look at you can glass. look now. Oh, we're doing something with glass. Yeah. Lovely. Plexiglass. Yeah. Um, and uh, I try to make I'm getting better at this. The the crafting part is important to uh -huh. I still see you. You do? I can still see you. How? Yeah. I can't see you. I try to make the crafting part uh, something special for each person. Uh-huh. And I'm still trying to get the flow of of the craft and the interview because I've had people on before where the craft was so sort of 
um, intensive? In, intensive, exactly. That they never look up anymore. Well, that they're sort of so, yeah, they're, they're working on it and, 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 it, and it's a li bit of a struggle with the interview. Right. It's, it's, I, I think it's interesting, it's fine. Yeah. So I'm trying to make things that, I, that can also fit inside of a, of a short window. Right, right. Um, so what we're doing. I'm excited. What are we yes. doing? Yes. What we're doing is. Do you do crafts at this table every time you do this show? Yes. You know how I know that? <laughs> that is, I still have to clean it up. That's from Maz Jabroni, who was here about 30 minutes ago. Uh, so we have choices. Uh -huh. um, I'm, what I'm doing is I have my, my cat. Oh my God. And then I'm putting this over like this. Uh -huh. And the idea is that you would. Um, we're painting. Well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use paint pens first. Okay. So, sort, of, sort of like an like an old school animation cell. Yeah. And then once you 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 ink the whole thing, uh -huh. then you can paint inside the lines, and then theoretically, when you flip it over, it'll be a nice clean design. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you have a picture of your pet? I do. Was I told to bring one? No. Okay. So, which pet would you like to use? Um, I uh, do you, if you have uh, which, which your your choice. You could use Izzy. Oliver's Oliver. super handsome. Okay, sure. Oliver. Oliver makes a nice yeah. portrait so Oliver, there. So Oliver's oh, handsome as well. Oh, look at that handsome boy. We also do have this picture of Izzy. <gasps> oh. That I took, guys. Oh my God. Yeah. Maybe uh, I should. Do, I'm gonna do Izzy. Two days ago. I'm gonna do Izzy. I'm gonna give Izzy some love. Okay. So there's Izzy. Save Oliver. That's for from later. two days ago. Perfect. It's oh. not very difficult to get pictures of Oliver. Oliver has his own uh, Instagram page. They all do. Yeah. They oh, do. they do really? They, yeah, they do. It's mostly a way to just keep all of my 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 pets' photos in one place. So, like, when I go, hey, you should see my pictures. Like, let me just pull up their account. So why um, don't we look at that? Okay. Yeah. So here are the the paint pens. I'll, the only thing that I did, I also I don't want to like. I want to struggle through this along yeah. with my guests. Oh, there'll be some struggle for me. And so. Yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> and so I didn't practice this. Okay. Um, the only thing I did is I tested it to make sure that it works. Yeah. Yeah. So so basically what you you'll do I think uh -huh. is um, maybe outline it and then just start to draw I it in. I think so, like a rough outline. But here's the thing: if I'm going to do uh, whiskers, yeah. First, look at all those edges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe I'm gonna borrow that. Can I borrow that? I that one. I'm just gonna do we whiskers both chose first. White animals. I think there's gonna, I know. Be, there's gonna be a lot of competition. I know, and the thing is, I can't even like draw to see if it what works. What happens when the white pen goes okay, down? Okay, good. Well, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna use it for a second to do. <laughs> well, here's the thing, I should also use like the eye highlights and stuff like that. I don't wanna take it. Oh yeah, your... of course, no, 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 let's share. We can share. So, there's even a cream one. This is more of a cream or a bisque. Would you call that bisque? This is, this pen's not working. She's a little bisque. I kinda like it. Oh yeah, let's, you know what? Maybe that's even better. Should we test a little bit? Maybe I, maybe I should steal that one from you. Press, press and pull, press and pull. Press, press, test. I did, I did try to get them all started, but they're paint pens, and anyone who's ever had a paint pen knows that. Know that. Oh, yeah, I'm they're getting not a little, very I'm getting a little business reliable. there. I'm getting a little action. Oh, yeah. You kind of press it, but then I feel like you're dulling the, oh, yeah, good job. You, you press and hold, and then maybe just shake a little bit. Oh, wow, look at that. And now, then now, and now, we got, now we're in business, guys. Now we're in business. Oh, thank God. That was going to get weird. Um, so I'm doing the eye highlights. Oh my God. I, I have a feeling you're a very good visual artist. Um, here's my full disclosure. Like I'm, yeah. a, good, I'm a good performing artist. Um, my father is an amazing um, visual artist. Okay. He is um, he, he's a, a, a former scenic artist. Okay. Um, and he draws. What does that mean? Uh, for, for theater, scenic artist. He's a oh, he would paint scenic backgrounds. designer. Oh yeah. Yeah, backdrops, backgrounds, designing sets, painting, um, painting the sets as well. Um, and I grew up kind of doing some of that stuff with him. But my dad and I, my sister got like all the visual stuff and somehow none of it translated to me or my world. Well, so I mean, genetics, you, you upbringing, are, you are, I don't know. I mean, I would consider you an artist, would you not? Well, yeah, but um, but I, I, I may, I may struggle here at points um, with how to let my imagination fully. I think the come one out. thing that you want to do is try to keep your head in the same position. Oh, yeah, that's good. You're right, because then you're changing the perspective. You, yeah, I mean, the, the glass is very thin, but I would say it was probably a quarter of an inch, if not a little bit more. Yeah, I. I, I I'm starting to feel bad that I, I totally stole your paint pen, but you seem to Don't. be having, I think you're doing well with that color. Yeah, she's, she's all right, she's biscuish. She's kind of um, strawberry blonde sometimes, mm -hmm. Some we, we like to say sometimes, but she does have a lot of um, kind of fringe. 
I'm well, noticing. <laughs> well, I was going to talk about your your professional career for a second, but let's talk. Sure, about, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah. let's talk about Izzy. Let's talk about Isabella here, mm -hmm. who I'm painting. Mm -hmm. She's a little street dog from Tijuana. Uh huh. Um, uh, where did we rescue her? I think it was called um, a, a place for animals or a, a heart for animals, something okay. like that. A rescue uh, group, and they rescued her from Tijuana. Um, and she is a crazy mix of a lot of different breeds. Um, we've got some pit bull, we've got some uh, cocker spaniel, that's primarily what her breed is. Mm -hmm. um, there's, uh, I think, Shetland sheepdog, um, husky, that's where the eyes come from, boxer, I think that's where she gets her naturally bobbed tail. So yeah, she's a crazy mix of, of a lot of different, she's even German Shepherd. I don't see it, but but they say that she is. Did we, you do a? We did the doggy DNA. Test. Oh, you did it. We did it with the, well not, I didn't do it because I, you know, I'm not a scientist. But sure. We sent it in. You're not a visual we artist and you're not, you're not a scientist. that part you, to, to process her DNA. Okay. Um, but she, uh, yeah, she did, uh, we sent it to a company called Embark. Um, and I don't know if we're supposed to plug people on this or not. You they're, they're probably not. You could do whatever you want. They're probably not paying you, so it's maybe we should. Probably cheating to like, hey, to look and see how you it's got. Like so far, this is kind of neat. You look. Pretty you think it's bad that I pulled it off and I'm looking at it? Um, I think you might have a hard time realigning. Although probably not, because you're just going to be able to go for the corners, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, or yeah, I think it just got. I mean, or maybe it's just bad luck to do. It. <laughs> I think it's probably bad luck. <laughs> but I've never done it before, and I kind of. I mean, I'm going to do this for Mel. This is exciting. Um, oh, so scribbles. And then, and I call had, her I call her scribbles too because that's kind of what she looks like. She looks like you drew her like. You're doing scribbles. Do you want to peek or do you, you didn't, do you not want to peek? Um, peek with her with her hair? No. Do you want to like look? No, I don't want to. I'm, okay. I'm gonna keep going. Good. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna keep going. Um, we're gonna we're gonna live with the results. So and the failure, the inevitable failure. We we um. I need light blue. She has ice blue eyes. Me too. Look at. Are we? <laughs> I'm just, wait, did we, did we chose yeah. the same animal? We, we did. You know what? If you we look, don't need like any of these other colors. By the way, you were, you were completely accurate. We did both choose <laughs> the same animal. The I'll go same black. color. I'll go black right now because the, uh, uh, she does have, Izzy has a nose. It's called a winter nose. Have you ever heard of this? Some dogs have black noses at some part of the year and some, sometimes it's brown. It changes color. It changes color. Yeah. Huh. It's called a, like a, a seasonal nose. Like a, like a fever coat. Kind of, yeah. And and where are we now? Um, so like, it's it's a yearly thing. Uh, yeah, right now, since this picture is only a week old and you took it, I guess we're. That picture at, is two days old. Two days old. <laughs> yeah, I think we're dealing with the um, the the light brown nose. Yeah, uh, where it's black, I think, in the winter time. I th was it on Saturday or Sunday we went out? Saturday. So, so this Saturday. So today's Monday. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday, Saturday, we went to the Big Horn. Mine Trail up in the Los Angeles uh, mountains. I think it's part of the Los Angeles Crest. It's near there. I think it is. Yeah. I'm sorry. The Pacific Rim Crest. Pacific Trail. Crest. Pacific Crest Trail. The PCT. But the road to get there was closed. Yes. And so we were not able to go to the mine. Nope. Uh, and we ended up going on a different hike, which was the Blue, uh, the Blue Ridge Blue Trail. Blue Ridge Trail. Blue which Ridge was Trail. Also. Which was pretty snowed in. Pretty snowed in. And pretty dangerous than what we were hiking again. <laughs> so if you go and watch the, I don't know, you'll see some episode of Zane's World, uh, you'll see our excursion. It's a big part of that of that show. Um, and then we just went to the, the brewery in town Afterwards, and hung out, and hung out and there. And just hung out and uh, we took this picture of Isabella and we listened to some rap. I had- and, uh, and filmed everybody on their ATVs. I had nefarious motives when I took this picture. I, I knew oh, why I was taking really? it. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I'm glad I chose this one. Look, it was intentional. Oliver, our little boy Oliver, is so handsome, and a lot of pictures get taken of Oliver. So it's good to give Izzy some shine, because she is oh sweet. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I think I should probably be over it. She's gonna have weird looking eyes and stuff. If I'm I know, just like if I do this incorrectly. So theoretically, my thought was I could go in after and sort of paint in some places, but now I'm kind of nervous about what I'll do with about the paint. About freehanding it. Um. No, like you see, like the pink there outline of his nose. Uh -huh. Like I could just go in and just color in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think there will be a point where you can just, you know, fly without a parachute. You know, it's up to you. Um, You're putting the pressure on me. But I have a feeling I'm gonna come come in with a very weird looking dog if I do that. Because um, um, I don't trust my visual skills. I have I have a lot of insecurity in that department. 
compared to the rest of my family. As yeah, I, yes, as yes we, we've already started to tap we've into We've already it. established that. Well, let's talk about your craft for a second. My craft, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you, um, how many years did you do uh, Castle? I was on Castle for eight oh, seasons. God, what a blessing. 173 episodes. Oh, that's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. It uh, it was a nice long run, and I don't know that, that that's ever gonna. Those kind of shows don't really exist anymore. I mean, a, a few of them, the, of course, there are like exceptions. Like what? Cop, uh, detective. Just like the old idea of something running for that long oh, on yeah. a network and having that kind of audience. Um, it uh, it's changed. Television has changed. Things get like two, three seasons, and they're done. Streaming things are on ten episodes. So like having a an old school 21, 22, 24 episode season. Yeah, those, those? it's almost like sometimes people feel even feel guilty about being on for that long, or or they they should bro like spread their wings out or something like that. Sometimes people do, and you have to realize that it's it's great when you're in the middle of it. And I felt like that too at some points. Like God, I just gotta get off this show. But but then you kind of go, yeah, you know what? You you might think that next job is easy, and you're taking it for granted um, because it's probably going to be tougher. Yeah. Um, than you think to get that, to land that next thing. So you should just write it out. And that's what I did. I wrote it out until we got canceled. Um, and <laughs> um, when, when it, when it, when we you got, get we, out there, we, 2016, I think is when we went up there. Were we you expecting it? No, because we had renegotiated a new contract oh, no, for God. a ninth season. And so I was like, oh, okay, well, you, this is going to keep going. You negotiated too well. Um, I guess so. They're going to pay us that? Like, no. Like, this no, is amazing. No, they're really not. <laughs> I never thought I'd make this in my... Oh, I'm not. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. that's not happening. Oh, for a minute there, it felt great with my lawyer and everything. It was wonderful. Um, top of the world. <laughs> and then everything came crashing down. I wondered who I was for a better part of a decade. No. <laughs> I didn't know. Are we getting into something right now? What's it's happening? Like the VH1 special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Behind the music. Well, that's when he resigned. What is what is the most difficult <laughs> uh, role that you've that you've done? Most I'm gonna leave. Difficult. I'm gonna leave it somewhat ambiguous for mm, a reason. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Let you fill in the holes. Well, um, I you know as there's there's difficult as far as as far as like, oh God, it's all in the eyes. She's gonna look demented. Oh no! This is where it goes bad. Is all the eyes like you get that uncanny valley thing? Yeah, but maybe you'll feel <laughs> maybe if you maybe you'd feel better if you uh, if you peaked. Ah crap! If I peaked? Uh -huh. Oh no no! I'm not gonna. Okay. Well, <laughs> she's gonna hear like, what's wrong. It's all about the eyes. You can get the whole body, and then you get the eyes, and you just like it goes it goes nuts. You know um, they say. Are you doing background by the way, or is that is I this don't. just the foreground? No, stand I'm just out? just the foreground. Foreground. They say that the eyes are the doorway to the soul. They do say that the vintages of the soul, and if, if that's the case. <laughs> let me let me see it. Don't don't you see it, but let me see it. How no no the other way the yeah. other way. <laughs> I gotta do something about that. <laughs> wow! I'm sure wow! I, I'm sure I have to fix that. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, <laughs> that's that's so good. That's so good. All right, so so so, what is the answer to that? The most then? difficult. I um I I don't know. How deep are you filling in some of this detail? Oh, you're making the eyes correct. See what I well, think. What is you're learning from my mistakes is what's happening. No, I'm. I mean, honestly, I'm. I'm. Here's what I think. I, I learned that rather than draw, you should dab. Oh. Because yeah. here's the thing. I put down the white beforehand. And yeah. theoretically, mm -hmm. now I'm going over the white, but on the other side and the and the pupil. And you're dab, 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 dabbing. But then I think that if I'm doing this properly, that the you should still be able to see this through. Right. So now, if I hold this up, the eyes. Oh yeah. Like it looks kind of look like cruddy normalized. there, but then huh. there it looks kind of good. Those eyes look normal. Huh. Do you wanna do you wanna do some touch up <laughs> work on, <laughs> yeah. on my yeah on my dog's eyes when you're you've, done with that? You've left so much. Catch up to do. I mean, I, I feel like I feel like there's a lot about negative space here that's probably more important. Than I, anything. Negative is the word I was associating with. Um, um, <laughs> so besides this, what is the most difficult role? And, oh, and, and I don't care oh, okay. how. You well, you know, I think the thing is, I, it, it depends. Um, stage. Okay. Stage. I, uh, in theater, I've, I've had some very difficult role, roles that um, that were very uh, physically taxing. Um, like what? I did the LA premiere of uh, A Clockwork Orange. Oh yeah. 20 years ago, in fact. Um, it was a long time ago, um, and uh, that was that was uh, physically and emotionally taxing. It was it was very tough. Um, and and those roles are great because you get done and you're like, Jesus, I, I have nothing left to give. I 
I kind of put it all out there, mm -hmm. um, and 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 you're glad, but because you, you you sort of feel like you're like, wow, I I I would want to give my all when I'm on stage. Mm -hmm. um, but how many how but many there were some performances tough parts did you do? Of, I mean, like how many shows did you do? Do you, want um, to, do you want to switch and try, try some white? How many did we do? Why, do you think I need some white? No, because I want to steal your beige. Oh, oh, I see. This is more like a bisque. <laughs> um, what do they call it? Hold on. What do they, they have a name? What they, they don't. None of these have names. They probably have a code. No, I don't know, but yeah, you can have it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whew, my favorite kind of pen. That's, that's, that's a good smell. That's, that's a good that's smell. That's what we got. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, there were some hard parts of Castle too, by the way. So you know, it's like it, it, it kind of all depends on on what on what you define by that. There were some well, very how, long days and some emotional scenes and in Castle. In, oh yeah, okay. In Castle, um, when they give me some things to do occasionally uh, that were emotionally taxing. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then you know they kill people off, characters off, and you you deal with your friends not being there anymore oh, on yeah. the show. Yeah. And you're kind of like, oh wow, this is like a little bit of a death. Um, that you get to experience too mm -hmm. um, with all these things. So um, this looks like never mind. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I was like, is this the same? this is white? This is bisque. I can't tell the difference in this light. Um, and I, I find that kind of interesting. So so yeah, I would say you know some of the things I did with that with Castle were probably really difficult um, physical things. You know they they put you in a scene where you're being tortured all day. Oh wow! Um, and you'd be dunked in water and stuff like that, and uh, it would be cold and freezing, and you're you're doing these things where you just you're just freezing in between takes, and um, those are those are pretty tough days, uh, but emotionally not necessarily. Um, so Tom Hanks say. said that the uh, voiceover stuff for Toy Story was some of the hardest he's worked. Mm, yeah, because um, I, I think people think that just because you're using your voice that you're not using the rest of your body. Correct. But when in fact you're doing like animation, especially for a movie. You're focusing it so much. And you're, you're yeah. projecting and you're just kind of taking a lot out of you. Oh yeah. Did you feel in doing this video game, uh, like in this motion capture stuff, like how do you compare that to difficult? Oh, difficult for sure, because you're, you're pushing everything through your voice. And you know, typically what you do is you, uh, you they, they save it. I mean, there's a lot of screaming too in these things and you, you can you can do the stage version of it, um, but 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 typically it, it won't sound true. So I, I'm kind of a little bit of of a masochist with that. I'd like I'd rather it sound real. Mm -hmm. And so I I yeah I I will blow out my voice typically. Um, but they do that on purpose. Like you'll do like a four hour session and all the screaming will be the last half hour. And uh -huh. you, just, you just walk out of there like yeah that's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, I, I thought it went really well today, didn't you? Uh, yeah, me too. Um, so. It's it's hard, and because you are f so focused in all those things, it's it's um, it, it's very easy. Because you do you do want to do stuff physically. We we consider it to be one of those things that's just your voice, but it's not. It's your body too. So you're putting everything in there, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and it's very easy to kind of yeah. You just you start you you expend a lot of energy so that it comes through in your voice uh, when you do those things. So yeah, it's it's hard. Don't let anyone tell you that it's not because it's. It's it's super focused in that same way. Um, I know that so crazy um, eyes. Crazy eyes. many people know this, but Shane was in Obi Wan Kenobi. He played, played a stormtrooper. Oh, really? And, Very and cool. putting on that costume, sorry, uniform. Uniform was one of the most difficult things he's ever done. <sighs> and, Sweating. And if you don't believe me, just hang out with him for five minutes. He'll bring it up. He'll tell you. Is it? Um, there was probably a lot of sweating. A lot was of there? Was there a lot of sweating? Just a lot of stanking. A little bit sweat. Were you you were actually outside? Yeah, we were. But there was also like, like you were, a blue screen. A blue screen. You were in the wow. you had your your volume behind you in the in the Obi Wan, right? You were you ever were you working yeah, in the volume? You were never working in the volume. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing what they do because you know we've been doing that a long time with video games, but they're they're starting to do that when it when it comes to all that Lucasfilm stuff. Some of it works and some of it feels I'm gonna be honest somewhat antiseptic. Some of it and you're like oh okay this is why those original Star Wars movies didn't rely on green screen or anything, and they had a little bit more of a feeling of an authenticity, mm. but more expensive. Yeah. And you got to film in Tunisia and Yuma and places like that when you can just be on a soundstage. So have you seen like any know. of the the, um, the massive green screen stuff from shooting of episodes one, two, and three of Star Wars? 
Yes. And they're just like, what do we do? They're like, just fight something invisible. And you just, there's a wide shot of everyone just fighting yeah. with ah. a huge green screen ah. in the background. Yeah. And they had to kind of go and, you know, then the, then the, the artists had to go and fill everything in after. Fill everything in that something was coming. Yeah, I mean, there's something about doing everything in camera that it, it starts to, it feels like filmmaking and, and things make sense. But I get it. It's, you know, you, those, those kind of movies cost three times as much, so they don't make them anymore, you know? Speaking of beautiful, Speaking of beautiful. What I'm gonna do now is. Uh huh. What's your plan? What's your trajectory? I'm gonna now. Trajectory. Um, what's your trajectory? What's your trajectory? This beer. Oh, something course. about this beer. Something about this is, really. It works. It's just hitting me in the right it spot. It works. Sir. It's quite refreshing. Despite its dark secret. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe why my art looks good. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Soylent green. <laughs> Does anyone get that reference? They should, right? Or <laughs> People should, but that's not to say or, that they will. Or you get someone who goes, hey, Boomer, making a Soylent Green reference, are you? Boomer. <laughs> I'm not a Boomer. That was a deep cut. You sons of um, So, yeah, now I'm going to lay in my white uh, uh, under overcoat thing. Yeah. So now I'm a little concerned. Um, How deep are you going with Phil? You're using a lot of negative space. You're like, okay, I'm going to let the outline speak for itself. The outline I I is uh -huh. everything. God, and now, detail's great. Thanks, buddy. Did you ever go to art school? I never took an art class. <laughs> Do you either. not know I took this? In high school. I, I got my Somewhat. I got my college degree in, in painting. <laughs> Did you? For real. I got my I got a minor in theater and I got my, my I mean, major in this, oil painting. This feels like you're a ringer, is what this is. Like. It's how can I make for people who I admire and who are uh, who excel in their craft, <laughs> how can I bring them into my world yeah. and blow out their candle so that mine burns brighter? <laughs> Does that make sense? And it shines brighter because of it. <laughs> exactly right. Uh, I'm gonna do a, look, a few like highlights here because she's got some texture going on there. But it's like, she's got like strawberry. I'm gonna just, here, let, let's, let's see. What do we got here? So this is like your, the, the cell painting. Let's got just that even new see what color. This Gotta prime the pump. Gotta prime it, gotta prime it. Yeah, we're getting that. That's good. What do we got? We got some butterscotch. So here, here we go. Does this look butterscotch to you? Butterscotch? Well, that's dude, maybe more butterscotch. Look at, I took out all of my accents. You can't see any of my paint behind oh, there. You can't. Oh yeah. It's, so should I be coming in like a little grayer? Um, it depends on how detailed you want to get, right? Because you 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 sort of think that you're creating like a layer underneath, but you're like not. What color is it? It's, it's opaque at that point, right? So if I just made him a little bit gray, then he would like stand out. Yeah, but just a tiny bit. I mean, otherwise it's gonna be a big white cat. <laughs> yeah, with with blue eyes. Yeah, which is kind of what he is, but. Yeah, but you know, all that lovely detail, and then. To waste. To waste. But so I say keep going. I. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh wow, you're getting. Oh wow, I didn't know these were accessible. Holy crap! There's everything. A I'm sorry if I. I assume that you were a fan of this show. <laughs> everything that I have here is accessible. Is accessible to you. Oh man. Okay. Well, no, I think I'm, I think I think I'm still have the right tool for the job at this point. I think we're Do you? Yeah, yeah I think so. Okay, so now I'm painting him gray stay in alignment. Okay, and now look, stuff, stuff is starting to show up a little bit. Who Virginia's behind you? Oh. Hey Virginia. Hi sweetie. What's up, sweetie? Um Meet Virginia. That song by Train. Mhm. Mm Classic song of the late 90s. So that we don't get too like Bogged down and no, 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 too heavy in the art of it all. Let me, let me, let me ask you. Um, sports. Ask me about sports. Yeah. Let's just let's, let's just, just let's be lighthearted. Dude, let's just talk about sports. Come on, let's what, just do what it. What sport could you bro uh, out. talk about? I could talk about basketball. To what degree? Um, a pretty heavy degree. I follow the game, the round ball game. You invited me to that Lakers game that really bummed me out because that I couldn't go. Oh, that's right. Because I, I actually basketball is my favorite sport. But you know, what should make you feel better is by you not going. I was able to take Shane. Well, there you go. One man's loss is another man's gain. So it's like you know I'm what's crazy when my worked. when my fifth choice said no, I had to bring my sixth choice. <laughs> but no, I, I love I love basketball. I follow a lot of podcasts. It's weird now. I find myself listening to more podcasts about basketball than actually watching basketball games, and that's a danger sign right there. That means well, you that know what? Maybe your your head your focus is in the wrong place. You know what I mean? Well, I couldn't imagine what you mean, but like, is that, you mean you're too, 
caught up in the statistics of it or something? No, you're just you're you're kind of studying the periphery of it all. You want the commentary. You want the people who comment on things rather than than getting your own ideas about things. So I that's what I find is dangerous my, with that whole. Thing. I used to watch every. Uh, I used to be just absorb everything I could with with basketball. So I was okay. I, I'm a basketball guy. What, what were your teams? Growing up, it was the Bulls. Ooh. Okay, take it easy. I'm a Pistons fan, sorry. And um, uh, and then and it was also the Lakers. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a Pistons that's fine. fan. That's fine. So <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. You're hitting all the right. You're still note, a, did, now, did the Pistons? Uh, well, the think, Pistons have sucked for years. I was gonna say I don't know if people know. Did the Pistons they actually have a team? They still have a team. Uh, it still exists <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> yes. They play in, in a little in arena called Little Caesars Arena uh -huh. in Detroit. They they have very poorly attended games. Really? Um, yeah, they're, they I think they're probably last in the league. I think it's they, amazing when I go and watch, like, look up the standings, mm. and I just see how, um, like, if you, you wouldn't see the snapshot of the standings right now that you'd see, like, uh, 10 years ago, how much it shifts. Oh, yeah. You know, once, because yeah. at one point Cleveland is up the top, and, yeah. and, and the Pistons are up at the top, and, and, and now it's like, they, yeah, do they even have a team anymore? They do. They they're they're they kind of are hoping for a really good draft pick this year. They got that that French kid Wimbenyama, with that seven four guy who moves like a point guard. Everyone's been kind of drooling. Is after that the kid him that's in here. high school? Um, or is he done? Is he in the de development league right now? He plays in a in professional league in in France. Okay, got it. So yeah, he's. Uh, How old is he? He's is he seventeen? Going to be eighteen? Okay. No, maybe he's nineteen. They do it differently there where they don't go to college. They go play right. in pro leagues. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like Luka Doncic did and everything. Right. So, now we have the yeah. same thing where where you you have to play at least one year yeah. um, after high school. Yeah. And then so kids are like, okay, well, then I'm going to go play pro here. But I have to say, and this to, to bring it back into everybody, this doesn't have to be so sports-centric, is that. Let's be inclusive. Let's get Well, now <laughs> a big tent. college athletes Let's can get paid. They do. The, and the NIL agreements. And I... I'm sorry, I don't know her name, but uh, an integral player Keep going. of the uh, in in the women's collegiate basketball. Yes. Who says that she is she's coming back next year? Yes. Caitlin because, Clark. Yes, because yes. she actually she's amazing. She could make more money in in, 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 co in college yeah. than she could if she went to the uh, WNBA. Well, that was the whole thing. They go to the WNBA and then they go play in China or they go play in Russia. Yeah. And then you get arrested. Yes. Like Brittany Grimer and Griner, and you spend all this time in prison because you couldn't afford to stay in America. Oh my God, look at you. That looks great on the other side. Okay, so you're getting some detail like in Like if there. I were to do it again, I think I would probably go in with a little bit of black. Mm. You know what I mean, like as, as an outline to it. Who is that, Leroy Neiman? I think I'm going for that, remember the 80s artist? Mm -hmm. I'm sure. going for a Leroy Neiman sure. kind of thing? You have it from a color standpoint. <laughs> I wouldn't say that you're painterly style. I mean, I mean, it's fairly flat. I, see, I get a little bit of dimension here, I guess. Do you want to? Let me see. Let Can me you peek. give some tips? So some yeah, ideas? yeah. Here's what, what I would do. do? I, I would, do, I would now. What should I do, Zane? You should do Those what I'm doing. Those ears need to stick out a little bit more. You should come in, and, and now you should do the the paint the paint layer. Should I? The animatic I cell won't layer. Be, I won't be like destroying any of my detail, right? No, because I would make just on the reverse side. No, I, I would. No, no, you won't. You can paint, like I'm painting over it. You see? Yeah, you're destroying all your work, Zane. What are you doing? Stop it! Oh no, Seamus. Stop there's an, there's don't. another side to Zane, this. Zane, don't. You flipped it, and then you know that's the back side. Hold on. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm still painting the back side. I've um, always been on the back side. I've always been on the back side. <laughs> <laughs> Seamus, you're drunk. Sorry, man. It's your fault. I love it. It's your fault for all of this. Um, I'm just going to keep drawing. I, I would go in there with a the gray. I full attention. I would go in there with a the gray, <laughs> and then yeah? I would, yeah. yes. Okay, gray now? Gray? Gray? That's yeah, enough so, white. So That's do, enough white. Yeah, Take do, the white away do, from do it. Do what I'm doing. Come gray. in with a sort of a gray. Gray. And I'll, I'll even let you use my brush. People haven't figured out that these... these uh, gray these, pen or gray brush? Uh, paint. Paint. Like legit. That these these are the nice brushes. You can take the. Are yeah. they sable? Sure. They look okay. sable. Okay. So here, use this one. Okay. This is gray. This is white. No, no, no. You'll just have to mix it. Oh, oh, oh. And okay. maybe you want to use this one. You want me to help you? Black and white. Here, watch. Gray. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, That's the way that works in art class. I remember. I mean, I don't have a degree or anything, but. <laughs> Yeah. I, by the way, that's I left and that's all I got. So this is a nice gray that I think <laughs> you have to make sure you have enough of it. I didn't have enough of it. Oh uh, yeah. That so looks, I think you need more black. You want more black? Yeah, I think okay. so. So the gray's coming in. Okay. 
Okay. That's pretty much the gray I had. Do you like the way my details show up? Yeah. I think yeah. it's. Yeah. Yeah. They're very light. You know what I'm going to do now? What? Draw on the front. Like, just legit go straight on the front. Maybe. What are you going to do on the front? Like, more detail? More detail. Yeah. Let some things stand out. Yeah. I bet you could do the eyes and make make your eyes really freaky. Why don't you let me worry about <laughs> what, I'm, the really what I'm gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know I, what I'm doing? This was I, an attempt to I, freak I'm staying one out. lap ahead of you so that you can now learn from what I'm doing. This is great. You uh, you you shall run, so I shall walk. I like. Do yes. I, do I, I just paint over this. I literally go over. Yeah, you're still on the the backside, right? Uh -huh. I'm still on the backside. Uh -huh. So I still paint this because yes. we're gonna flip. I'm not destroying my work. I need to triple check this before. No, it and then, you know. Yeah, just just go at it. It all looks dry. Ooh. It's dry. Okay. Do you even want to go inside the nose? You want to go a little darker? I, I do. Mm -hmm. I definitely do. Um, I I'll put that right there. Stay. Um, and and inside you, the nose. What color do you do? Do, you think do, I need? do around. What color? Why do you do it for me? I was I was I, I, <laughs> could you tell that I was about to anyway? You, uh, I had the brush. I had the brush in my hand. Why do you, why do you get that? there and uh, give yeah. me some detail and maybe I'll just study this for you. Oh, that's a good idea, Zane. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I see what you're doing there, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't like how the there. color is not like too consistent. I kind of do too. All right, now let's look. It's more wabi-sabi. Yeah, now let's, let's more see. More hand. Oh, let's, oh. Let's uh, okay. hold it up and let me have a little, little peek. Um, on the front at, side? At my work. At the back side or front side? Oh, yeah, that's, that's fun. This is kind of cool. Okay. I think you're going to be happy with the way yours looks. God, I hope so. I don't know why there's so much <laughs> pressure, but it, it, it feels it feels like I don't want to mess this now, up. So now I'll just do the whole thing. Yeah, I'm yeah? hoping I don't mess it up, but I'm going to do the front of the... I'll be honest, the, this conversation has been more about the craft than, 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 than the craft. Than, we than, should get back to acting. Than the crafter. We should talk more about acting. That's fine. Um, um, what else do you got? Okay, I just don't want to mess this up. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the front. Yeah. So now I paint over all of it. All of it. All of it. I just... All yep. that detail work I just did. Uh -huh. Oh, Christ. Okay. And now I'm going to see. Here we go. Okay. Oh, this is okay. so crazy. A hope and a prayer. How does this work? A wing and a prayer, a hope and a prayer. I don't think I like this. A little bit at a time. Not too much, Seamus. Not too much. Not too much. Who, now, who I are you? I did take art classes who are you in, theater, channeling? in theater school. Who are you channeling right now? Probably my fifth grade art teacher, Mr. Brothers. Yeah. Um, I, I took our intro to design as a theater student. That was probably the last technical drawing I've ever done. Um, and I was probably 20 years old. Okay. Um, but I, I learned about drafting, and I learned about uh, how to design costumes. So a little bit about figure drawing. Wait, um, so you were in, you were in theater drawing. school? Theater school. Okay. But I didn't go to a conservatory program. I went to a liberal arts program. So uh, I went to Northern Arizona University, and they made you they made you study everything. And the whole idea of that was that you knew what all the jobs were. But actually, the, I believe the true idea was like, hey, maybe you like this better than acting. <laughs> maybe it's more stable. If you do, a, you know, if you're a lighting designer or something, you know, or maybe you're a house manager or something, that's pretty good too. Maybe you could manage those theaters instead of acting them. When I uh, <laughs> was taking, you know, my, my, my theater courses, yeah, and I had to go and do one that was like stage combat. Oh, fun. And the Love thing it. is, is like, uh, I remember, right. well, okay, I had to do my, my final. So my final was I actually had to do like a choreographed fight, yeah. fight oh, with yeah. somebody. Hell yeah. And we had to do, we did it outside on the quad. Now it's at the end of the year. Oh. And it's the spring and like. Muddy. No, it was beautiful. Okay, no. It, it, it was, yeah, it was, yeah. Whew, I got uh, nervous there. Yeah, yeah, no, it was good. No, no one fell. <laughs> okay, okay. And we did it, and at the end, it was me and my buddy Steve McKenna. And oh, we, really? We were paired together, yeah. Oh, my God, really? And uh, we did, the final was at like. <laughs> He, I knocked the sword out of his his, his hand, uh -huh. and then he ran off. Then I chased him across the quad, uh -huh. down the hill, out of the sight of everyone, oh my God. and went right to the bar. Did you? Yeah, we never went back to class. They're like, uh, they never came back. Yeah. Uh, did anyone notice that the? Is, they, Hello. They're, yeah. That was that was our conclusion. That was yeah. That was it. What an artful touch. I love it. I like to think so. Um, I don't. I don't know that. Very I, bold. But, Sometimes yeah. you got to be bold like that. I don't know that my grade reflected my the, the boldness of that no? choice. Or maybe it did. But that might have been just a comprehensive grade for the whole work, because your final sounds amazing. Were you, were, you, were you a poorly attended student? Did you poorly attend your classes? You know, what's the, let's, sporadic you know what? let's talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> I was a very good student. Yeah, I know you were. I got a lot of uh, good grades, and I didn't miss classes. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, although there was, on, a, on occasion, 
we had these classes in, in college that were all on television um, on the local channel because the, the classes were big, like survey classes, like Com 101 and things like that. So you'd watch it at home, and then you'd be like, oh, you know, I can catch up. I've got that whole thing taped on my VHS Okay. because I'm old as you are. Um, and uh, yeah, it's on VHS. I got that on a cassette at home. I'm gonna watch that eventually. And you'd get so busy with classes or rehearsals or something, you'd catch up. And and I I I, I forgot to catch up. And I I tuned in one day to class, and they're like, yeah. And so we have that test. And I hadn't really been paying as much attention. And I didn't realize that there was a that it was sort of it was a three. The the semester was broke up into three. Yeah. And so there was like this was our final. This was like six weeks in final. And you're like, oh no. I haven't been studying. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let me just start studying, cramming in the book, like I, like literally 20 minutes. I gotta drive there and take the test. And I, like one was way, one way to the class, the other one was on the way to the, the, the place, the administration building where I could cancel the class and oh, get out of it. And yeah. I was like, yep, we're canceling that. <laughs> Straight towards there. the end. Canceled, yeah, I'm, I'm out. Not towards the end, it was like in the very beginning of the semester. Oh, got it, got I it. I had to take it like two years later or whatever, but man. Um, so, I, so I, I wasn't always. Can I show student. you something? Yes, I'm nervous. This is with me doing some of the detail in the front. I want to see. Oh wow, we're getting some things coming out. Okay, I get you. So, so then I came back after and I flipped it over and yeah. then I did some of the, the, the detail work. I love it. Great job. All right, I'm gonna look at mine. That's what I wanted. It was a great job. Great job. Oh, look at that little scribbles. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Not so bad. I think if you then use this black marker to do the outlining that I did. This has to dry so you can flip it. Well, I just held it. You held it? Yeah. Okay. Good method. So um, do the black to outline. Mm -hmm. There's still some stuff poking through. Not done yet. Okay. Um, so I wasn't always a good student, but generally I was a good student. Um, you want to talk more about acting? Let's talk more about acting. Well, Sorry, no. At the, I mean, honestly, at this point, we're it's time for the six-pack challenge. It's time for the six-pack challenge. What happens in the six-pack challenge? As you know, because you mentioned you were a big fan of the show. Yes. Is that you You get $50 for every question you get correct. Yes. As Miles Jabroni established it, if you kind of give an answer that could be acceptable, you could do get half credit. You get $25. You get half credit. At the end, all the money you get, Goes. you will receive it in, in a gift card. Oh. And you'll be able to use it on purchases. Bed, Bath & Beyond. 20% off. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. I had all uh, my money in that stock. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at Pleplius. My, my Pleplius right. store. So you can go to, at home, you can go to pleep.store. Pleep.store. Um, so you ready? Yeah. Okay, so I should mention that these questions have been made for you. Oh. So when you consider the- Sounds rigged. <laughs> these questions have made, they're made for you to excel. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, um, and the thought is, because yeah. I know a lot of people play at home. Yeah. Is uh, to, um, like for me, was to create a test that only you could get 100% on. Okay. Okay, are you ready? You, Do did you, want that, you did that side with the black. Mm -hmm. By the way, I think that looks really good. Thank you. It's getting there, getting there. Yeah. Not as crazy eyes as so I thought. So I think I, d definitely the eyeliner eyes. and then some of the nose. Some of then, the outline, maybe yeah. separate the ears. Mm -hmm. And I, I, think, I think doing an outline of the actual uh, animal looks nice too. Yeah, I think so. This okay. may uh, end up getting framed in my house. Aw, you should. Sign it. Uh, okay. One handed. I can do it. I don't want to use my mouth. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh. Seamus Dever. Yeah. What is the name of the original FBI negotiator who communicated with the Branch Davidian in Waco, Texas? Oh, uh, Michael Shannon. Uh. Right? right? That's half credit. <laughs> Michael Shannon plays him in the series. He does. I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't remember. I didn't have any of those scenes. I didn't have any of those scenes. Okay. I'm gonna go Frank something. Gary. Frank. Gary. I was very close. Gr Gary. Gary Smith. Nos Nosner. Gary Nosner. Okay. Jeez. Wow. You made him too hard. I wasn't any of those scenes with him. I wish. He's a great mm -hmm. actor. Mm -hmm. um, I I had all my stuff with other people. Okay. They divide us, you know. You know, I, I'm giving you half credit. Okay. I don't, do you think I deserve that? No. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, here we go. Careful. A yeah. hemispherical, thin-shelled structure uh -huh. with interlocking triangular elements uh -huh. make these homes able to withstand very heavy loads for their size. That's true. The dodecahedrons mm -hmm. that are on mm -hmm. the thing. That, a geodesic dome. Geodesic dome a is geodesic correct. geodesic dome. That's correct. Thank you. Uh, this Russian author, born in 1821, penned mm -hmm. The Idiot, oh. Demons, as well as, yes, crime, crime and Punishment. 
Ivan something. Fyodor. 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 Dostoevsky. Fyodor something Ilyich. Fyodor Ilyich Dostoevsky. Oh, you got your extra your point back. The half, you got point That's and a half for cheating. that cheating. Yeah. That's cheating. Just because I know his patronymic name? Okay. With scenes filmed in Utah's Goblin Valley, Goblin George Takai says that this sci-fi movie was a chillingly realistic documentary. So it's a sci-fi piece of fiction that George Takai watched and said, sarcastically, it's chillingly realistic Documentary. Documentary. Are we talking about Galaxy Quest? Galaxy Quest. That was well, a great movie. That was a very good movie. Great movie. It doesn't get enough shine. There is a rabbit hole to go down on that about why they didn't do a season two. Or an, a, a second a, a second one. Oh, a sequel. was it Tim Allen? I don't know. I bet it no, is. No, I, I, because I was writing these this morning, I was oh. like, I can't. I can't. Um, in 1884, the Watchtower Society was established as the governing body of this religion. The Watchtower Bible and Tract Society is the full name. Uh, it is... Um, uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses. That's correct. That's yeah. correct. Yeah, it's a cult. It's a cult. Don't join. This is not an endorsement. It's a cult. <laughs> Stay away from the cult. Uh, Pericles, Pericles was an Prince of Tyre. Was an influential leader in yeah. what ancient city state? He gave away all his money. Um, I, Pericles, Tyre, T Y R E, Tyre. Um, oh, the city state. Is this Athens? The city state? Athens. Oh, Athens. Say so he's Pericles, Prince of Tyre. But where the hell is Tyre? I've never been to Tyre. I have tires in my car. Do they name the tires after the car after Greece? This is getting to me. Okay. <laughs> this, this, this super secret beer is killing you. It is. Like, wait a minute. Um, your, your deep secret. So that last question uh -huh. was Shakespeare-ish. Well, it I mean, was Greece. when you were on the show. Was it the Chase? The Chase. Yeah. Yeah. And the last question that he didn't get to was. Pericles was an influential leader, and it ended right there. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's, that's the last thing that she says. Oh. And so, Brooke. so. Yeah. Uh, Did you watch my episode? I saw a clip. It? Okay. I saw okay, a clip. Okay, okay, okay. So Seamus and Dean Cain went up against uh, the Beast. The Beast. What's his name? For a hundred thousand dollars, and the the I think the I don't say the irony of the whole thing is that a lot of these game shows when they have celebrity uh, contestants. The all of the prize money goes to um, charity. Charity, yeah. Which it's it's like, that's assuming that every actor is just rich and couldn't use a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> or right? fifty going to you and Dean. You know? Right, right. How is that? How are we doing? Pretty good. I, let's just do the eyes, and then I think we're I think we're around. Do you think I should do some ear outline because it makes her seem like she's got like a triangle head mm -hmm. or like a toadstool for a head? My dog does not have a toadstool for a head, Zane. Are you gonna, Do you mind? I don't mind at all. You're the. You're. The, I, I told you. I have an insecurity when it comes to okay. the visual medium okay. of anything. So I, I can uh, watch admiringly. Thank you very much, Seamus, for being on this episode of Crafts and Crafts. We'll have you back uh, soon when you can I'll, tell I'll us the name of the video game. Okay. That you did. It'll be about a year and a half from now. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. then, then we'll wait. We'll it'll wait till then. Bit, it'll be a minute. We'll wait till then.